Hi there, it's Lauren. You're about to watch the last deep look of 2018. If you want to get the inside track on what's coming in January, join our community on Patreon. Link in the description. Thanks to CuriosityStream for supporting PBS Digital Studios. Scoring that prime beach spot can be tough. Everyone's fighting for the best real estate. These black back, um, black back land, these uh, crabs come from the Dominican Republic. They live in dense colonies on the beach. Each male establishes a territory and defends a burrow with a pretty impressive set of claws. Those claws have serrated edges and they sure can pinch. The goal here is basically to tear your opponent limb from limb. Every joint is a potential weak spot. This guy is already at a disadvantage. With that broken claw, his flanks open to attack. When his opponent goes for a leg, yowch. But don't worry, it's not as bad as it looks for him. See how the leg comes off cleanly right here? There's a seam where two of the upper leg segments meet. He let it go on purpose. That's how these crabs cry uncle. By the end of the fight, He's lost six of his eight legs. Awkward. He can barely get back to his den like the rest of the crabs do at the end of the day. But he's not stuck that way. Losing legs is pretty normal around here. Within a week, they begin to regrow. New limb buds sprout in the open sockets of his shell. Each is a complete leg in miniature, all coiled up inside a thin sack. But to really get back on his feet, the crab will have to start fresh. Don Michaels at Colorado State University studies what happens next, the process called molting. Crabs wear their hard skeletons on the outside, but underneath, their soft bodies are always growing. So they have to go through one crazy looking growth spurt. Normally it happens about once a year, but this is an emergency. For the next eight weeks in its den, the crab secretes enzymes under its shell that start the separation process. And it begins to build a new shell in a paper thin layer under the old one. Then the crab packs up and moves out. He gulps air into his body to create enough internal pressure to pop the top of his old shell. Then he slides himself out the back and unfurls those new legs. His body is still flexible. In a restaurant, he'd be called soft shell crab right now. A couple of weeks and his new shell will harden. Then he'll be ready for a rematch. As in black back, land crab, payback. Thank you to CuriosityStream for supporting PBS Digital Studios. CuriosityStream is a subscription streaming service that offers documentaries and nonfiction titles from a variety of filmmakers, including CuriosityStream originals. In the Health of Our Oceans, renowned marine biologist Dr. Sylvia Earle reveals how the growing threats from ocean pollution and overfishing could create devastating consequences for mankind. You can learn more at curiositystream.com slash deeplook and use the code deeplook during the sign-up process. So the gland that actually controls molting is in the crab's eye stalks, which explains why they're so well protected. Looking for more videos to spark your love of learning? Check out a new mega playlist for the PBS Digital Studios Network, updated every week. Link in the description. Thanks.